In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use Sync VX by Waves. This is an incredible new plugin that allows you to align the timing and the pitch of your vocals in as little as three clicks. So let's jump right into it. So we have some vocals here. This is very much a typical day as a vocal producer. In fact, this is pretty light. So we've got all of these takes, we've got doubles, we've got affected doubles, and then we've got harmonies as well. And all of these need to be aligned to our lead vocal so that it sounds nice and tight and cohesive as a whole. So let's have a listen to where we're at without any kind of time aligning. I'm letting it all go. Everything holding me down Wherever the wind blows I'm taming the wonder and now To the edge of the earth The infinite worth goes on and on and on I'm letting it all go Nothing is holding me down Freedom's calling So it's pretty good but there are certainly some moments particularly with consonants with some s's where things are just kind of overlapping and it sounds a little bit like a mess hey just quickly i wanted to let you know that we now have the mixing and mastering cheat sheet binder back in stock we printed about 2000 of these last year and they went really fast but if you want to get your hands on a physical copy you now can and inside you'll find 32 different mixing and mastering cheat sheets that will help you kind of quote cheat your way to better mixes these aren't just paint by numbers instructions to boost this frequency or set your attack time to x instead we cover core principles that will help you approach your mixes with intentionality for example the three ways to use a compressor if you want to make mixing and mastering so easy it feels like cheating you can scan the qr code on screen now head to the link in the bio or go to marshring.com forward slash cheat c-h-e-a-t okay back to the video so let's now use sync vx so i'm just going to go to waves here and we're going to find sync vx ara now it's worth mentioning this only functions with ara technology so if your door doesn't support ara2 you're not going to be able to use this plugin so just check it out as far as I'm aware, Pro Tools and Studio One support it natively. And in order to use it in Logic Pro, you need to run it in Rosetta mode. And this is how you do that. So in order to run ARA2 on Logic Pro, if you go to Applications, you right click, you press Get Info. Here there's the option to open using Rosetta. You can see that that's clicked. So you just want to make sure that that is checked. And when you click on Logic to open, there will be a message. You just have to click continue and then it will open it using Rosetta and that will allow you to run any plugins that use ARA2 to function. So I've got everything selected. I'm going to click it and now all of these are gonna instantiate on all of the vocals. So every single one has got Sync VX on there. Now I'm gonna click this one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play it. I'm letting it instantly. All of our vocals have been recognized here and they're all communicating with each other. So we can resize the window here so I can see a little bit more of what's going on, which is great. And we've got choir, 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 and we've got lead vox at the bottom. And I want to make this our guide. I want to make it our reference so that everything else aligns to it. So I'm going to click make ref here. And now you can see in a matter of seconds, it's synced everything. I'm letting it all go. Everything holding me down. Wherever the wind blows, I'm taming the wonder and now. Now this sounds a little bit weird because, oh, what's happened to our harmonies? So here we've got pitch. If I turn that off now, Everything globally is not going to be aligned in terms of pitch as well. So we're just going to have basic time aligning. Everything is going to be synced to our reference. I'm letting it all go. Everything holding me down. Wherever the wind blows, I'm taming the wonder and now. Sounds super tight. Really easy. We're good to go. And nine times out of ten, this is going to be the case. You're just going to put this on there, you're going to click the reference and in one click, everything's going to be aligned. Now it's worth mentioning that you can use multiple references. You can use up to four references and this is really helpful if you have multiple vocal stacks that are doing different things. So you may have some R's, you may have some kind of ad libs that have doubles and harmonies to them that come 
in in different sections and you might have a, a lead reference for your ad lib and that would be where you would click a different reference now in this instance this is all we have to work with in terms of this stack so we're pretty much good to go so i want to talk a little bit more about how you can get into the weeds if you need to do it so we wanted to align pitch for some of these here now you can just turn these on and off here and you can globally adjust how tight you want the pitch to be you can globally adjust how tight you want the timing to be and you can see this kind of purple gradient that shifts to show you how much of the pitch and timing globally is being affected here so i want pretty tight timing here i want kind of medium pitch here and for our harmonies i just want to make sure that i don't have pitch so i can just turn that on and off there are also some different algorithms here absolute or you can also ignore vibrato so if there's a lot of vibrato and you want to retain that and you don't want to create artifacts you can play around with that algorithm there's also a different time warp algorithm that you can play around with if things aren't quite sitting well just using a different algorithm may help as well you can solo you can mute and you can also turn each of these individually on and off so i'm just gonna bring my lead vocal up here it's as simple as that we also have an overlay here so if any of you are familiar with Vocaline this is really helpful it kind of shows you how things have shifted and if we want to get in manually you can simply go in here I'm just gonna zoom in by dragging up here and then I can right click I can create a sync marker and then I can right click and create another sync marker and then I can start to drag this around like so to get right there in the weeds with it and tighten this up even more. Or if there's maybe one instance where one thing's not quite been caught, I can go in there and do a little bit more kind of manual work here. Now, as you've seen, this is really easy to use and it gets it pretty much bang on from the very get go. But if you need a little bit more of that manual flexibility, you also have that here. And you can also remove these sync markers by just right clicking. And you can also ignore regions. So say for instance, that this part here was an ad lib and everything else doesn't want to be aligned to that. And you don't want to confuse sync VX and then have these try and align to something that is just a one-time thing in the lead you can right click or you can create an ignore region here you can see it's recalculating and then it's going to completely ignore that and you're going to see how these react to that as well and you can see that things have ever so slightly shifted i'm going to remove that and it's just going to recalculate it now you can also get even more in the weeds let's say i wanted to just split up one section of our lead vocal here Where so this phrase here if i click this you're now going to see that in sync vx Wherever. we've recognized these cuts here and now i can make different adjustments just on these phrases so if i wanted for instance to transpose this or form and shift it as a creative effect or let's say that i wanted to just loosen the timing and the pitch just on one moment let's say that it's perhaps done it too much and you want to just lay off of it a little bit you can absolutely do that so there's this level of granularity that you can go into to really get things sitting exactly how you want them you can get them 90 percent of the way there globally and then you can really get in the weeds and just adjust little pieces as and when you need to do that so while we're on that topic, you can also click on this drop down here and we have the opportunity to transpose and formant shift. So we can do this globally on the track or we can also just do it on these split sections as we mentioned earlier on. And you can choose between transposing and semitones or you can do fine transposition as well. I generally like to just do it in tones. It's easier for me. And then you can bring the formant down a little bit and then we can solo this. Everything holding me down wherever the wind blows say so that you want to do that as a creative effect maybe you weren't able to do it in the session or you're not able to bring in the singer again and you have a tight turnaround you can absolutely use this to do that as well and then if you just want to bypass you want to see where things are at you can simply just turn this on and off let's see where we were at before and where we are at now i'm letting it all go 
everything holding me down. Wherever the wind blows, I'm taming the wanderer now. Let's listen for that blows. I'm letting it all go. Everything holding me down. Wherever the wind blows, I'm taming the wanderer now. Absolutely perfect, and that's not even time aligned a hundred percent. So we can get even tighter than that. It's also worth mentioning there's this denoise section for our reference, and by default it has it on automatic. You can turn it on or off. I'm just going to turn it off. It's great to have that on if you have a less than ideal recording environment. Perhaps you have fans going on or background noise. It's just going to make it easier for Sync VX to discern the signal against the noise because it's just going to allow this to get cleaned up before everything gets aligned. And it really is as simple as that. So that's it for this video. Let us know what your key takeaways were in the comments below. Now, vocal aligning is just one tiny piece of the vocal production puzzle. If you want to dive deeper into that whole topic and really come away feeling confident and professional with it, you can click the video that is on screen now. We have an entire course that covers everything that you need to know about vocal production. Until next time, happy producing.